Hello there, everybody. I'm Mel Allen, and this is Baseball Collector. Yo, and hello, everybody. Mike here, Baseball Collector, and hey, here we go. We're getting into 2021 already. I've got my second mail day of the year that I'm going to be doing today, and I've got a really, really big card for me. I'm excited about it. I'll talk about that in a second. So I was... Uh, Excited to be on the show uh, Sports Card Talk with Mike and Ray from Philly. And that was great because we talked about 2021 goals and setting goals for my collection for any you know particular period of time. I just I typically don't do it because my goal is always just get as much as I can. I mean that's the simple goal, and I don't necessarily try to target certain cards or whatever, but. I, I did give him some. That was a great episode. Uh, go check it out. It's on Ray's channel or Mike's channel, which is This Baseball Card Life. And so that's uh, that was a lot of fun to just think about some cards and maybe go, okay, what do I really want? I know that for me, just really attacking my four-decade set project, which is just this monstrous project that I started a couple of years ago. And I, I'm really kind of like not close close but I'm close er <laughs> and I got some cards today that get me even closer but for you guys to understand the scale of it there are 2,359 cards picturing a Hall of Famer from 1950 Bowman to 1989 tops that's a lot of cards 2,359 I already have 1,681 of them, which means I only need 678 left. I've, I'm over 70% complete with that. And so I, and it's weird. It's the, I just got a few left. Like I've, a couple of years, I need like three cards or five cards or six cards. And so those are kind of ones I'll probably really attack. All of vintage has gone up. So it's kind of frustrating. The cards I got tonight, I got really super cheap, so that was good when I can see that. And and again, I've just got to be patient. I mean, I don't need to get them all today, and the hunt is the fun part for me. So just be patient is the is the lesson for me to to take away. But six hundred seventy eight, I'd I'd love to. I don't know, get pretty close to being done with that by the end of this year, uh, or at least well. That won't be true because one of the cards I'm going to need is the 52 Tops Mantle, and that's not going to happen this year, most likely. But then there are some other really expensive cards that, again, I'm trying to pick all the low-hanging fruit that I can. And I'm also having problems because finding the cards graded is also difficult. Some of them just don't get graded very often. They're just not that big of cards. And so and I don't want to grade them myself because I can typically find them cheaper than having to send them in myself and then god knows how long you have to wait and what grade are you going to get and all those things i can just buy the card for close to or slightly less than it would cost me to send it in myself so that's kind of where that patience comes i have i literally have all of the cards at least from all the 70s and 80s stuff in sets uh, i could just go pull the cards and send those in but i'd rather keep the sets intact raw as they are and then, you know, keep just picking up slabs. The goal ultimately might be when I get a bigger card room someday, maybe, is to put all of my sets in binders. Because I really do love that idea of having sets in binders. I just simply don't have the room to make that happen. Or I, I guess I should, I could make the room if I wanted, but I choose, I don't want to do that. So yeah, just going to work on that a lot. So let's look at uh, some cards that I got that are going to help whittle down those cards that I need to get, including a really big one, a very splendid one. Hang on one second. All right. So I found, I love it when you can find one seller that has a bunch of stuff that you're kind of looking for. And I happened to find a guy that had several cards that I needed. I needed this 85 Tops Lee Smith Hall of Famer. Uh, it's a near mint eight, which is perfectly fine with me uh, that's a near mint card so that works for me in my collection and it was I don't know six bucks seven bucks something like that all day got a 
85 tops. Eddie Mofo Murray, also in an eight. Again, that's a you know off center card, but not not crazy bad. It's an eight, which is great. Eights are great. Shout out to John Wade Boggs fan because I got an 85 tops Wade Boggs in a near mint eight as well. I got two nines. This one was funny because I got the Alan Trammell. I originally bought an eight from the guy, but he wrote me a message and said, Hey, uh, sorry, I, I thought I had an eight, but I don't. I, I'm just going to send you a nine instead. I'm sure you're okay with it. And I was like, yeah, I'm, that's fine. <laughs> I'd love them all. And again, it's not a question of wanting them in high grades. You want every, I'd love tens and everything. You just have to balance cost and everything else. So yeah, I was happy that he sent me a nine, which is great. Nines are just fine. And I, he had this one kind of priced like an eight for this mint nine Andre Dawson. Or maybe this was one I think that he had as a uh, buy it now or best offer. And I offered the same price that he had as eight for and he took it. So it's like, okay. So there you go. Those are some 85s that I picked up. Just whittling away, whittling away. All right. Here's the big card. Oh, I literally bought this on January 1st, and I was supposed to get it on Tuesday, and it came today. Today's Thursday, so I'm just glad to have it. 1940 play ball. Second year, Ted Williams. And it is in a VG3. It's a little bit miscut. Uh, obviously, got major corner issues. But overall, very nice looking card. The back is awesome. It says Ted Williams, who with Charlie Keller was the outstanding freshman in the American League last year, so rookie of the year. It's one of the most colorful ball players to come up in a decade. Lots of story are told lots of stories are told of Williams' eccentricities. But the youngster has proved beyond a doubt that he is a major league ball player. Well, no kidding. Uh, this is one year from when, when he would bat 406 in 1941. Uh, just an amazing card. This card fills several holes for me. Uh, I'm working on the 40 play ball set, getting all the Hall of Famers. I am now down to one. I need Honus Wagner as the last one I need. And I can hopefully get that. So that's a card I am absolutely shooting for this year in terms of if you're th talking about goals. I really want to finish that, but they're, the ones that are on eBay right now are just way overpriced. So that's certainly a card I'm looking forward to hunting down. And then this is also in the 300 Great Cards by Mike Payne set. So that, I don't, again, I'm at a point where I just can't get a lot of those. I mean, this card is not cheap. Uh, you can go to eBay sold listings and find that slab number and you'll see what I paid for this card. It, it was not, it's not a comma card. Uh, but it's pretty close and I was just I saw it made an offer guy had it listed higher than than what I bought it for and made an offer and he accepted it so I was like I was kind of surprised like wow he took it okay I guess I'm buying this card and so glad that it, to finally get it because now I also have the DiMaggio as well and that's gonna be a when I complete that one of probably one of my favorite you know, Hall of Fame runs to show off and to put out because it's going to look so cool because these cards are just so neat. And they look very similar to the 41 play ball, which is another very popular set. But you got to think 1940. I mean, this was 80 years ago, 81 years ago now. I mean, it's a long time. And there aren't, you know, not a ton of people around that were around in 1940. And this card is, and it represents a great player, Ted Williams, one of the greatest ever. So shout out to all my Red Sox guys that are out there. I know Jason's going to, Mr. Fisher Bike's going to love this card, and I'm sure Dave will love it, and different guys. But that is it. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. We will talk to you soon, hopefully with another big card. But I don't have any on the way, but I'm always looking, on the hunt. Talk to you guys soon. Keep collecting.